everyone, this is Sophia from mygreatchallenge.blogspot.com. We are on day five of my master bathroom makeover. It's actually Monday night. It's about 6.30 in the evening. I just got back from work. I've decided that I'm going to caulk my bathtub tonight because I want to be able to take a shower here tomorrow and not have to go downstairs. Not that it's a big pain, but I just want my bathroom back. Alright, so we're going to talk about the grouting uh, that I did yesterday that was really, really upsetting. And I had a friend of mine uh, who stopped by, he came over, he looked at it and he said, basically, it's not your fault or my fault. Um, it wasn't my doing a bad job. The grout that I got was actually too sandy. For that particular job, it was more of a grout that you use on the floor rather than on tiles in the uh, bathroom, you know, like shower enclosure or whatever. I really wish the people at Home Depot would have told me that, but, you know, technically I didn't really ask. I just grabbed grout, you know. So because it was very sandy, it was difficult to apply on thin or little, you know, gaps, whatever, injures, joints, whatever you call them. So that's the reason why I wasn't able to do a good job. Um, am I gonna remove it? No, I'm gonna keep it on and let me show it to you. So I'm gonna go back to the original plan of covering these with a sealer that's uh, bright white. Um, I have some areas where there's a little bit more grout than others. You see here, for instance, if only would focus, you could see that it's not the perfect job. And I'm okay with it. It's, it looks 100% better compared to what I had before, but it's not the professional looking job that I was looking for. So I'm still going to uh, cover all of those joints, that little grid with the sealer, but that's gonna happen over the weekend. But now what I'm gonna do tonight, and I removed everything that's on the edges here and along the sides, I'm going to applied the cock and I actually did buy the right type of cock because if you remember I complained that the one I had used before on the outside was a sealant and it's still wet I just want to let you know it's still wet so this is tub and tile and this is from Ace Hardware this is siliconized acrylic cock now I picked that rather than just silicone because the problem with cock one um, I prefer to work with it rather than sealant sealant is very fluid and it takes forever to dry Cock will dry or skin um, pretty rapidly, which is what I'm looking for in order to be able to use my bathtub as soon as possible. But silicone cock will not bond onto itself or areas that are not super straight. All right, so if you have a little bit of leftover from your previous cock, I'm telling you right now, if you buy a fully just 100% silicone cock, those areas where you still have the old one, that new one will not bond to it. So over time, it's going to lift and eventually you'll have water seepage underneath it and that's how you get growth of mildew and whatnot. So this one is a siliconized acrylic one and it's supposed to be a strong adhesion. All right, so it's mildew, um, it's mildew resistant, it's paintable, interior use, uh, low order and water cleanup. So I'm looking for something like this to do the edges here of my bathtub. Um, now for the sealant, the difference, if you wanted to know the difference between sealant and caulk. Like I said, caulk will dry faster, um, but it's rigid once it's dried, all right? Sealant is very flexible, so it will move pretty much with whatever it is that it's um, bonded to. What I've learned is that when you have a tub that's like a plastic tub, mine is a real, you know, old cast iron enamel tub. But if you have a plastic one and you need to put cork around the edges, the best way to do that because it's going to be rigid, you need to fill your tub with water to create weight in the tub and then you cork. So that way when you remove it, it's pretty much bonded to the full capacity of the tub. If you have a tub that's plastic and you just cork around it, when you're gonna put the water in it and your body in it, what's gonna happen is that your tub will sink down. And because the cork is more rigid than sealant, what's going to happen is that eventually it will break along the edges, um, particularly on the top part, not necessarily the bottom part of your caulking, but the top part. I don't know if I'm making sense. So if you have one of those plastic tub 
you're probably better off with sealant because it's got more flexibility. I don't have that. Like I said, mine is an old-fashioned um, 1950s cast iron. I don't know if you can hear it, but anyway, it's cast iron, so I can do caulk on it, all right? I'm just gonna take my gun and I'm going to start from the top this way, this way, all the way down. I'm gonna do all around it and then I'm gonna do the part over here and the back and the corner right here. And here's another gizmo for you. This is like a uh, caulking assistant. You see that angle right there? You basically, when you put your caulk, you just basically um, rub this like this and, be, and what it does is that it gives you a nice bevel. Um, I'm going to use this throughout only because I want to put a lot of caulk along the edges at the bottom part, not necessarily on the top, but at the bottom part. And I could do it with my fingers like I've done earlier. You've seen me do that. But I'm going to try this today just to see if it's going to be a little bit easier. What you need to have is a wet rag with you. You need to have your caulk, this, and wet rag. And when this gathers a little bit too much leftover caulk on the back, you just wipe it on your um, you know, wet cloth and clean it and then keep going. I said, I don't know if I took the time to show you how to use a caulking gun. This is a newborn uh, caulking gun. It's standard, all right? Uh, it comes with a seal puncture thing that's right here. So you put it back in this way and then you open it that way. Right here, it's got the um, tube, you know, breaker or cutter, all right? So what you do is that you basically take your caulk, your new caulk, you put it in there, all right? And you use this, hold on, spot cutter, that's what they call it. Um, all right, so you use this to cut your spout and basically you just put it at an angle and there you go. All right, you just turn it until you get it. I have a pair of scissors right here just to get the end. I could probably go back into that little spot cutter, but that's all right. Okay, so that's cut, all right? Then you take your puncture thing and you go inside the hole right here and you just make sure that this is punctured. In this case it is because you can see the white underneath it. You get some paper, clean that up, put it back and you just basically put your uh, cock in there and then you use this part here, right? You just push it in like that and then it locks okay and then you just start pressing like this all right like a gun basically all right here we go knock this out of the way Again, for this particular job, I want a lot of it. So I'm just going to be a little bit over generous in my application. And I'm going to take that little gizmo like this and this angle here doesn't work so I'm going to take the other angle. Not crazy about this, this is not giving me the best result. Good old fashioned fingers will do it. It's probably work, it's probably gonna work better along the edges of the tub.
so this is where I'm at so far. I've done this corner over here. I've done the whole length of the enclosure right here. If I'm able to focus. And I've done this area right here and where you can really see a difference is on the uh, long side of the tub. All right. This area over there was not done and this area over here was not done. So I'm pretty happy with the way it looks so far. Um, again, can't wait to put the um, grid with the bright white. It's going to look really, really cool. I have a clean rag here and what I do is that I go over those areas where I have a little bit of a spill. I want to make sure I get that stuff out of the way before it gets too dry. Not that you can't remove it afterwards, you will be able to do it, but why give yourself more work? Alright, so I know I got a little bit of a spill here and it just cleans with water so that makes it easier and I'm doing the same thing on the other side and what's really important for me right now it's hard to show you because um, I can't really put the tripod in the tub. Let's try this. I wonder if this is going to work. All right. um, what I really want to do right now is remove some of the mistakes that I made here in the corner because this is where most of the water is going to pool and I really need an area that's super sleek. I don't want to have any grooves or anything like this because that means the water will pool into it and then mildew will grow. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this area here a little bit on the tile here and there and then just smooth it out with a wet finger to make sure that all of this here is nice and smooth. And I'm getting pretty excited here because this is looking more and more like the bathtub I wanted. So it's really, really looking clean. Um, my only concern is that I'm doing this with not the best of light so I'm pretty sure that when I have daytime it's gonna start looking really crappy but pff, it's a bathtub um, I just want the job to be done I think I did an okay job here with the corner and the area over there so I still have to do the one here the one on here I'm gonna do one over there even though you don't really need it um, for this joint here but I just want to have kind of like a definition and then I gotta do this part over here and on top and I will be done with this uh, pretty happy you know I mean I, once that's done I got to really clean the tub and then um, even though I buffed these yesterday depending on how the light is showing I can still see some uh, graph that I left on it so I'm not gonna do anything about it now I'm gonna wait for my cock to be completely dry and then over the weekend I'll start <clears throat> buffing the uh, tiles again particularly before I put the, uh, the sealant and I'm done. I've done everything and it's looking much, much better. It's almost redeeming my terrible um, grouting job from yesterday. I'm hoping you can see it. Um, I'm not sure. And I did this side over here as well. I did the uh, um, uh, sides here of the uh, panel. Remember my glass panel? Uh, this doesn't have to be like perfect remember I'm painting this um, so I was happy to be able to do that the problem here is that I had those um, screws so I wasn't able to get the little gizmo um, to flatten everything I had to use my fingers that's all right the corner here looks much much better and cleaner now what I'm gonna do is clean up the tub I'm gonna use the blue side of that sponge just to get my tub really, really clean because I know I have some caulk that fell in there and I don't want it to um, harden or anything. The only thing I can say about the caulking is, aside from, you know, obviously you want to do as good of a job as possible, um, you want to be careful if you didn't do something that you like, it's not like you can go back and change it because this skins over pretty fast. Um, so fix it as soon as you see the problem because otherwise you're gonna have a hard time, seriously, you're gonna have a hard time uh, being able to get rid of, I don't know, like a dent, a groove, whatever it is that may be the problem, okay? Uh, let me wash this whole tub and then I bought the little gizmo that goes from here to there, the tower on the uh, tension rod to put all the products. I'm gonna put that back in because this is pretty much done. Um, I'll have to remove it so I can do, um, you know, the grid here with the sealant. If I even do that, because to be honest, this doesn't look bad at all, but I said I was gonna do it. So anyway, let me wash the tub. I'll be right back. 
And that's installed and it was absolutely ridiculous to put together. It was so hard. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it took eight minutes. All right, so you will notice that all the way on top over there, I put the uh, part that's supposed to go at the bottom. And the reason why I did this is because the poorly designed item that you see up there, if I had it upside down inside the tub or on the edges here, it would basically just collect water and then all around it, it would collect mildew and um, it really wouldn't make any difference in terms of how much it's resting on top of the uh, ledges here. So I put the top one at the bottom. Um, it's gonna work the same. Now it looks like it's moving a little bit and that's only because um, the cheap designer did not provide something to put right here to stop this. So I'm gonna have to improvise and find something um, to work it out. I screwed those really, really hard uh, because you know I get big bottles and stuff, but the reason why I'm putting this here is because I do not want to put anything over there anymore. This is it. I'm done with trying to get rid of rust, whatever. If I have a bottle, it's going to rest in here. It's going to drip down um, towards the drain over there. And hopefully it will be a little bit more hygienic. So now we're keeping this here. The little hooks are going to be for, you know, crunchies and, you know, the uh, sponges. You can put your um, face washes here and then all of the products. Uh, my husband will take about uh, a third or yeah, about this much of one shelf and everything else will be mine. Okay, so it's time for me to make dinner and I'm also running out of uh, batteries. So um, I hope you enjoyed this thing right here. I think it was $49. I think it's overpriced for what it is, but pff, what am I gonna do? I kind of wanted one that was white. Couldn't find one. So I'm gonna have to go with this. And since I've decided not to change the fixtures to um, antique bronze, I'm gonna have to buy the one in antique bronze, which they do, by the way. And of course, they charge you 10 bucks extra for that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. It's looking much better. It's looking fresher now. You're probably asking yourself, well, Sophia, how are you going to do the sealant on the grid of the tiles if you have this thing installed? Well, I can still do it because I can unscrew them and slide them down, do my tiles, and then move them back up. So you see, um, yeah, I planned ahead for once. I'm going to give you a quick pan of what the tub looks like now that it's uh, clean and I've done the uh, caulking. I hope you can see. I'm not sure if this is going constantly in and out of focus. I'm liking it much better. It's just too bad we gotta wait 72 hours for this thing to dry. Can't wait to do the grid in bright white. And I imagine you see the white right here, it's gonna be the same thing. So everything is gonna be a grid of white. Now, here's another idea real quick before I let you go. I'm going to change the shower curtain. You know that it's going to be, I'm not telling you the design because I haven't found it yet, but basically the theme for the bathroom is going to be white and dark gray or white and black, but not a lot of black, but this is going to be mostly white. And then here I want to do a scroll, um, kind of like a, a, a pattern, maybe a lattice or one of those Moroccan patterns, you know, which I'm talking about in white. So it's going to kind of hide this a little bit when you come in from here. You're going to have all of this in white and then this thing here is going to have some white on it and then the shower curtain. So that's the idea. Remember, I'm painting this white next weekend. So uh, this was Sophia. This was day five, I believe, in my master bathroom makeover. It's time for me to run downstairs and do leftovers because uh, I didn't really make dinner. And that's the reason why I jumped in the tub tonight. I knew I had leftovers to reheat, so that's going to be an easy dinner for me. And then I gotta start doing some editing and some studying and then maybe I'll get to bed on time tonight. All right, thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new and you don't wanna miss the next episode in my master bathroom makeover. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.